something just happened this weekend that I thought I should tell you about. Although I know we aren't really having a conversation or anything, it's what people who are having a conversation are supposed to do. Still, it's not like it's Monday morning in the coffee shop near the bus terminal and we run into each other and you ask, so how's that book of yours going anyway? And I tell you, oh fine, although damn, I could, damn if I can figure out what you were doing in August 1966. Then, he then you say, hey, I'm keeping August 1966 for myself. I laugh, and you laugh, and we both laugh. Then you pat me on the shoulder and tell me that you're pretty sure that this is going to be the best book ever written. <laughs> I swoon just a little. Denny and Tyson walks in and shoots me with a crossbow. <laughs> These kinds of emotional swings are more or less what it feels like to be writing a book, Gord. There are good days and bad days. I'm sure you know the feeling. Sometimes the fog of thought clears and my mind is radiant, while other times I can't breathe. Usually it's one or the other, although lately it's been the other. Every writer who ever wrote anything feels at the back of his brain that all of the hours he's poured into his work will be for naught. No one will buy the book, and no one will read it. Libraries will fling it into the dumpster, pristine and still fresh-smelling. 